was that Agnes last night? Oh, I think so, yeah. <sighs> we got caught in a bit of a storm last night. The rain came down like an absolute mother humper and the wind came down absolutely horrendously. But luckily, instead of staying on the high ground last night because of my gossamer, we decided to come down a little bit for being uh, into a dip. So it kind of saved us, to be honest, because I think if the wind had hit us, my tent would have been gone. Obviously, the Hilleberg may have, so, may have survived a little bit, but what a shitter that was. Right, anyway, um, I'm already packed up. No time for food or drink this morning. It's just a case of get on the road. It's what, half past six? So we should be on the road in the next 10 or 15 minutes. We do look like fucking Tintin tin again this morning. So I'm doing my nutting. Air chop when I get home. That's where we was last night. We're going into too much detail, let's just get on the road. Oh, right, the time is quarter past seven, and that is where we're off to on the top, nice and cold. <laughs> Sweet, isn't that, isn't it? <laughs> to see the old sons come out especially after last yesterday whoever was absolutely pants but yeah hopefully today will be a better day Solar panel just hit me on the head. Oh, devil's jumps. Wins aid burial mounds. So this is the morning of day two. We're about two miles in and uh running low on water now, so that's the priority, get some water hopefully find a little village as well en route just to restock our supplies because I've probably got enough food for today and then I'm out so and I think Phil Phil how much food have you got left? Enough for today but yeah. we're in low water. Phil's the same. So I slept like a baby last night, Phil didn't. We had a bit of a storm come in, battered the tents. I'm glad I brought the Hillyburg with me. This is some lovely scenery around here. Absolutely stunning. Feeling quite good this morning though. Yep. Uh, we are kind of hammering it already this morning, funny enough. What we... Oh, he's watching YouTube. <laughs> no, it's not a, bad, uh, not a bad sprint off this morning. In the last hour and a half, we've probably done two miles anyway, so. But uh, yeah, check out the hills in front. Yeah, we've got an hour. Just coming up on a farm down here, so hopefully it might be the saviour of our uh, water problem. Uh, but behind it don't look very nice. A nice big hill. I don't know what the name of it is right now. But uh, I'm sure we'll get there in a bit. So we're we just come down the longest downhill. That really hurt me. And we ain't even at the bottom yet. I'll try and look back later and show you what it looks like. Got to a nice little calf. Called the Cadence. Looks good.
And yourself? Yeah. Oh, I feel revived and ready to rock. So just to bring you up to speed, as you can see, there's a trail that comes all the way down the hill. When you get down to the bottom, we've got that little restaurant or that little cafe. And then it's straight back up on the hills again. And uh, oh, the road coming down that hill towards the cafe is horrible. Just carry on going up. This is just a beautiful little... I might pinch what? Pinch another cable? Yeah. Oh, he's such a slacker. He, he packs as lightweight as possible. Never thinks about the bloke that's carrying all the camera equipment. No. So, let's talk about comfortable. It's, been, it's not been too bad, to be honest. I think at night it's been a bit shit for me because, well, I'm sleeping on that mat that you told me to use. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been really comfortable. You know, air bed, mattress cover. So it's been nice and soft. What? Holds the pillow in place. You told me to bring a mat. Yeah, no, I just had visions of the Pennine Way when I used one, and uh, there's nothing worse than getting back to the tent at the end of the day, lying down on that. You're it's fucking... No, 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 there's, there's no need for that. So basically, what you're trying to say is, you bluff me into using just a mat. Not an airbed, well, a mat. Well, I should have told you that there is a little climate half pad that weighs about 130 grams, and I pair that with a, a mat, and then you're sort of comfortable. Still not as good as the uh, firmware and stuff. <laughs> I weren't comfortable last night. I weren't comfortable the night before. This is your fault. has been going on for about a mile. <laughs> the views are just epic. I am loving this trail, even with its ups and downs. We're just on a mission to the next calf. We'll bosh out six miles and then uh, have another rest. And then we'll be up onto the more sort of wild areas of the trail. There's no need to worry. I had one of them earlier. Fresh as a daisy now, all cleared out. But let's keep that between me and the 100,000 people that's gonna watch this. We've done 10 <laughs> miles today, brother. Yay. That's a view and a half, isn't it? Beautiful. had an ice cream and a coffee at that place um, that's six miles further than the last cadence or cadence is it cadence or cadence or cadence. cadence six miles they're six miles apart so gives you enough time to work up an appetite poof before you get there but for now we are cracking up oh my god cracking on Bastard. <laughs> I've never oh, seen God. Aaron get so excited about a rabbit. He says he's just lying down there. Down his burrow he goes. 
Oh, we should have whacked the 360 down there. <laughs> Poor little shot. <laughs> right. So as you see the field all the way over there, that's the sunflower field. You can walk it down the hill. And then you've got the uh, nice cafe down the bottom. And then you've got about another mile and a half walk straight up hill. It's a killer. It does take a long time, but it's all good. And there's the coast. First view of the coast. See the wind turbines, can't you? We'll be working our way out there soon. Yeah, you've got miners on here, Amazon five miles. Eastbourne. 55 miles. Eastbourne? 55. What are you punching me in the arm for? I just want me to kick you in the fucking knees, eh? So anyway, if you've never seen one of our videos before, let me introduce ourselves. I'm Phil. The geezer behind me is called the stain. So the stain is usually known as my soul. When you see him moan, that's my soul just giving up, right? So just bear that in the context of the video that we make. He is just a soul, nothing else. He's there for character witness. Right, it's so just a quick update. That's the track we came down earlier. It goes round, down, and up here, and then up here, and this is my soul. I'm just here sunbathing. I'm just trying to get a good tan on my chest. Okay, and then I'm going to dig in and go underground. Catch you later. Aaron's a little bit further behind me, he's just taking a leak. And yeah, that's a Chinook. Just flying through the air there. A long time since I was on one. There's a little water boatman swimming around in here, aren't Oh, from one bridge of water to one bridge of train. Right, so we've come down the hill, by the river, crossed over the river, and once we crossed over the river, Came up to the main road, followed the main road a little bit, and then came up this lovely big hill, which is taking it out of me. Shit the bed. Just a quick one to say, hi kebab, no. <laughs> Fucking easy my butt. <laughs> We're gonna have a quick brew, quick coffee. And then we've got how far? Another 10 miles to do today. Bearing in mind what time is it? Three o'clock? It's all good so far. All good. Do you hate places? I'm a mess of sod. We have a bit of soup, sorry, a bit of, bit of noodles and some stock. Taking in the beautiful scenery for about half an hour and then we're back on the trail. <laughs> so we're on, uh, this is me professionally speaking now. So we're on Fucknose Hill right now. And um, if you're on Fucknose Hill, then straight to the right of you as you're walking towards Eastbourne will be Brighton. But if you are on Fucknose Hill, then you don't know where the fuck knows you are. I've just been listening to Aaron, just taking a photo of this beautiful scenic area 
But yeah, oh, I said, oh, I'll go and stand in the middle of it. No, big fuck off there, you know. <laughs> no, you're not part of my fucking video. You're not part of my photos. <sighs> unforgiving. You know, you're just unforgiving. No, 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 no. What did you do today? to me five minutes ago? I don't know, I can't remember Take, take my photo, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. He didn't really, because he's not, he's not that vain. He's not. Right, well, just to bring you all to speed again. Uh, from where we was having something to eat, climb the hill a little bit further, come along, there'll be one car park, come along another two or three k's and there'll be another car park, which is this one. Um, and we're moving on now towards the A43, I think. I ain't too sure. But uh, awesome little journey. Tracks are fine. No, it's not Mountain Dew, so don't, don't bring sugary drinks. Also, water fill-ups. Uh, some places there are few and far between. Other places are fine. Uh, I've only bought a one litre bottle and a little pot bottle full of water, so... As my slave, my soul. Um, so yeah, you don't need too much water, but just be sparing. When you do see water, drink the whole of your bottle and fill it up again. So at least you're rehydrated, especially on a hot day like it's been today. You alright, our kid? Did you, uh, did you trip and fall? We need to know. So Aaron, uh, still coming down that hill, some point, somewhere. Um, all we wanted to do, get into this village, or if, even if it is a village, we just wanted drinking water. This sign couldn't have been at a better time. It's just one of them moments, you know, you need. It's always great seeing the sign. It's even better when you find the tap. You know I'm gonna have a little mini rant right now. Ever since we started this trail, you assume that every little place would have a bite to eat for you, or something you can at least chuck in your day sack, your bergen, whatever, just so you can have on the way. There's not been nothing like that, has there? Not a thing. Not a thing. There's lovely cafe spots, but not one little shop where you can chuck a Mars bar or Snickers into your backpack. Kind of disappointing, really. Anyway, ran over. Six o'clock, still looking like crazy tin tin. But we realised that just up there, it's going to be a great little spot Ooh, for a bite to eat before we crack out some bonus miles. So, I'm going to have a bit there, tab on into the dark. How are you feeling, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Just looking forward to some dinner. Look at that, lovely in the background. Well, it looks sexy. No, I'm in the sun. Oh, fuck you then. It's such a stain. I've had to look at the back of your head for the last mile. Oh, great, it's a bold spot, can you see it? Wow, the Tintin reference is pretty good, actually. And and your dog could be a little snowy if you spray painted him. I'll spray paint little Ted when I get home, and he will be snowy. <laughs> right, a pair of us have just stopped because we have just completely run out of sugar within our bodies feel drained and absolutely knackered so uh, we're going to get a bite to eat. Going to have myself a bit of chicken for here with rice and whatever else I can leather down my body. Well 
Right, seven o'clock. Right, it's seven o'clock in the evening. I've just grubbed up. I've just had a coffee. Little man over there has just had a bite to eat too. Uh, and now is our chance to get a couple more bonus miles in. And we met some nice cool fella. Should I give you his name? What was his Instagram? Woolen Fire. Woolen Fire. Really nice chap. Um, look, you see the moon going down. Oh, no. The moon doesn't tend to go down at night time, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> Cut! <laughs> <laughs> That's not going in. Yeah, look at that moon going down. No, I mean, he's, he looks... What <laughs> going to do now is just follow the trail for a little bit longer. And then find a place to kick down for tonight. Even better if we can find a pub and kick down in the back garden. But it's not going to happen. I know it's not. But anyway, it's all good. For now. Still going into the night. Following this wanker. Sure. <laughs> At least the moon's nice and bright anyway. So I know it's only been like 20 minutes, but uh, as you see this moon, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, Aaron's behind us, just doing a reel for Instagram. I'll leave his uh, Insta tag down at the bottom. The moon look, looks really nice. Yeah, well, every time you kind of slip off, trip up, ah. it does fuck the night vision up, especially when I'm behind you with a torch. Oh, I can't see anything. There you are, is that better? That's better. God, you're such a Wendy. I know, you're a Karen. You're a Karen, that's you're what you are. Karen. You're just a Karen. Really hard to see. It's, a, it's got to be some kind of pig or pig pen, chicken yeah, pen. Alright. Oh, I think we're hustlers this time of night. You alright? Yeah. I'm a little bit weirded out here. What is this? Please, Please do not, not feed, feed the pigs. pig. What? Are we going to become pig food? What the funk? But where do we go? Is this is the part of here. So there's, there's pig pens either side. Why is that weird? I've never gone on a trail where there's pig pens either side. I think there's some pigs getting it on in that one. I can't see. Oh, they're all oh down. my they're God. All lead. There's a fucking load of them there. Oh yeah, I can smell it and all. I think we need to move, mate. This is, we're upsetting them. Cam can't see me for shit. We're walking through this pig farm at the moment, and it's it's, it's just I didn't realise this was on the actual trail. Walking through a freaking pig farm, man. Pink. It's lovely, beautiful. It's disgusting. Give you a bit more leg to look at. We're uh, just heading down outside of the pig farm. Just as we come out though, there was a guy with his little green light and he was just sitting outside his tent. We had a little chat with him. He just told us there's a pub about half hour, 45 minutes walk from where we are. So we thought we'd just trundle down. Poor guy's been hit off his bike. You all right? Poor guy's been hit off his bike. Got a couple of fractured or broken ribs. But it looks well enough to continue. I mean, he's got some guts, I'll give him that. Slow yourself down. Oh, well, we might be getting into civilization because I can see a street light. Whoa, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Well, that's where we reach. End of day two. I'm going to say two and a tiny bit days. Oh, two days and two hours. Okay, two days and two hours. Two, yeah. Follow the yellow brick road. So it's extremely late. Uh, it's about quarter to ten, ten o'clock. And we've taken refuge inside um, a churchyard. So 
Don't know, mate, it's nice and cliff and sweet. <sighs> Up early tomorrow and we're off again. But, um, yeah, absolutely knackered. Been about 30, 33, 34 miles today. So, yeah, off to sleep. Early start tomorrow. Probably another 30. Anyway, good night.